Hey, what's up? Welcome. Uh, first thing that I want to say is that this is not a video about printing your art. Um, I wish I had a printer good enough to do that. I actually recently made an account with uh, InPrint, which if you don't know what that is, it's a print-on-demand website like Redbubble or something, but just for uh, prints. And so, because I recently made an account on there, I thought maybe I should make a few uh, new illustrations. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So I actually only ended up doing two illustrations for the video. I wanted to do three, but I ran out of time. One was a landscape. Uh, and that's this one, obviously, and the second is uh, kind of like a like a portrait, like a character portrait. For this one, this was a piece that I had been wanting to do for a while. If it's not clear, it's like a giant crystal, like floating in the middle atop these uh, sort of like floating islands. Except the islands aren't actually floating. I mean, they look like they're floating, but they're just really, really tall pieces of land that doesn't make any sense like realistically but i thought it was kind of cool you won't be able to tell that they're like really tall pieces of land in this one but i thought it'd be really interesting to make a second version of the piece like a, a darker more disturbing disturb disturbing yeah sorry <laughs> a darker more disturbing version um where you can see the stems i guess just the long rock or whatever because i thought it looked weird you know i thought it looked disturbing and eerie Anyways, yeah, this one I struggled with the crystal for a bit. You'll see that in a bit here. I um I spend quite a lot of time on it. But for the most part, I knew exactly what I wanted from it. I wanted it to feel pretty peaceful, relaxing, just nice, just just really like nice. And so I just went with pretty uh, generic colors for that. You know, the nice like sunny sort of grass with the nice cool blue shadows and the, the pretty blue sky with the giant fluffy clouds and all that. I did end up accidentally recording it in the wrong resolution and so i had to shrink it just a little bit here on the screen to make it not look bad <laughs> but in doing so there was a bunch of like black in the background and so to fill in just that blankness i put in these cool video assets that i found a long time ago online that are just like some pretty relaxing kind of satisfying makeshift space sort of video things i don't know they're cool they're they're pretty neat but in case you were wondering why that's back there, <laughs> uh, that's why, because I'm stupid and I messed up the recording. Right here is exactly uh, what I was talking about with <laughs> uh, having issues with the crystal. My main issue with the, with it was that I um, I couldn't stop over rendering it. And after I had gotten it to like a place where, where I liked how it looked, I would stop for a sec, I'd go take a break and I'd come back and I'd see that it just felt off. And it was because it was over rendered, like compared to the rest of the piece. You know, like I, I liked how simple the grasses and the islands are and the clouds are and stuff. But then I would go to the crystal and it would be too detailed. I fixed it here, now I'm messing with it, seeing if I want it bigger or not, but I decided on smaller. Here I'm, uh, I'm just adding a bit more uh, stuff, I guess, in the foreground, you know, to, to really build the value range and also sell the, the depth of the piece, because I felt like it was kind of lacking there. Here, I struggled with this a lot, actually. Right now, I'm trying to put a, um, a like nice colored shadow that's being cast from the, the crystal itself. I don't think I did too great of a job doing that. It was, um, it was supposed to look a lot more transparent, the crystal itself. But, uh, but yeah, it, it looks a little too opaque. And then I don't actually know if the sun lines up with that shadow and stuff. That, that doesn't matter so much. I mean, it's just a painting. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm actually really happy with how this piece turned out, as well as its, its, um, its uh, counterpart, or whatever you want to call it, its second part, uh, which I'll, I'll put on the screen here in just a second. Uh, I feel like not often I know exactly what it is I want a piece to look like, and I follow through with that from beginning to end, and this is an example of one of those pieces that I, I had the vision for and I did. That makes me very happy. I'm, I'm yeah, <laughs> I'm happy with how it turned out. This piece, I um, 
I actually didn't really have anything in mind for. I knew that I wanted to do something much more graphic, much more um, illustration-y rather than like painterly, you know, like as, as opposed to my landscape. Um, and then obviously this one is a, is a character portrait rather than a landscape, which I, I don't do much of. I don't, I don't do a lot of characters. Uh, and so that was a little tough for me as well. I think I, I had just looked up some pictures on Pinterest of some cool photos uh, uh, some photographers have taken of, of people in some like really nice lighting and I was trying to find some that I could take and, and steal some inspiration from uh, and I started with this like pretty intense look in the guy's eye but at, at some point I decided that was boring <laughs> and so I wanted it I wanted there to be more like emotion more of a kick to his expression especially since you can only see one eye I think the intense eye would have worked for that as well but um I don't know I I, I think having more of a um distressed look in the eye does does more for that kind of whatever kind of feeling I was trying to get across from this but yeah this whole piece I was I was kind of just trying to have fun with it you know and create something that was interesting just, I wanted to stay abstract just loose with with the whole process especially since like I said I didn't have anything in mind going into it you know like none of it was really planned I was just going with it Another thing I, uh, I had a lot of difficulty with with this dude was uh, his eye color, you know, or I guess just like colors in general. Like I said before, I wanted it to be like very graphic or graphic feeling. I mean, not like uh, graphic as in like gore and stuff. I, that's why I put like that solid red and, and bold, intense sort of background. Uh, and then I've got the solid black for the majority of his body and stuff. And so I kind of wanted to reflect that in the eye. And so you you see I, I mess around with like making it this hot pink and like some other different colors and stuff i tried making the pupil like uh crazy colors as well but uh but yeah i ended up just going with a fairly regular eye color i, th I think it works well i think it balances everything out because there are so many other intense colors that end up happening in the piece here i decided that although i really liked how much of him was like buried in shadow um, I thought it would be kind of cool to add, I don't even know how to describe it, just like weird things in the darkness, weird things in the shadow that um, would explain why he's so like terrified, you know, like why he has that, that terrified look in his eye. And so yeah, I, I spent a while on all these different eyes that were uh, like watching him from his own body because I couldn't balance them out right, you know, I, I spent a long time trying to make them feel balanced. And then here I was just making them uh, a little more pretty, you know, making them like glowy and stuff. Just, just the final touches, really. And yeah, I mean, this one's got its flaws and uh, and stuff, but overall, again, I'm pretty happy with it. It's cool. So that's actually gonna do it for this video. This is actually uh, the first video on my channel, believe it or not. I know it's uh, pretty difficult to believe given how it's the greatest video you've ever seen, but I, uh, I plan on doing more videos like this that are just like me doing art. Uh, I want to use these videos as like an excuse to get me to do drawings that I'm too lazy to actually do. Uh, and so yeah, kind of kind of killing two birds with one stone there, you know, I make a video and I get better at making videos with the more that I do. And then in the videos, I make the drawings that I've been wanting to do for years and stuff. So yeah, if you like the video, if you like my work, then go ahead and subscribe. I am going to do more videos. And uh, if you're interested in any of the prints, I'll have a link in the description to the, uh, the imprint store. If you watched, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.